In this problem, we're trying to find the acceleration of the block down the incline. Start by drawing your forces. So you have force of gravity going straight down. We'll have force normal going perpendicular to the incline. We will have force of friction being parallel to the incline. And these are the three forces that are going to govern the motion of this block. What we need to do is we need to rotate our axes so our x-axis will now be parallel to the incline. Our y-axis will now be perpendicular to the incline. And then what we need to do is take our force of gravity and break it up into two components. One component that is parallel to the incline and one component that is perpendicular to the incline. The incline is at an angle of 24 degrees, 24 and a half degrees. Okay, that will be the same angle that we have in here. So we use the sine of 24.5 multiplied by the hypotenuse, and that will give us our force of gravity in the x direction. We use the cosine, and that will give us our force of gravity in the y direction. That force gravity y will be the same as our force normal. So our net force going along the y-axis will be zero. The object is not moving along the y-axis. For the x-axis, we are going to get acceleration. So we're going to use acceleration equals force net over mass. The force gravity x is the part of gravity that's making us accelerate. And the force friction is trying to stop us from accelerating. So that's going to be a minus. So you're going to take your force gravity x minus your force friction. Remember you get force friction by doing the coefficient of friction times the force of normal and force normal is the y part of gravity. So with this you should be able to find the acceleration of the block down the incline.